and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some discard burn to kick the day off today. I wanted to bring this deck back because yesterday we played that Draven control deck and it was a lot of fun and I enjoyed playing Draven again. And so I, I wanted to basically play another Draven deck today and I like this discard burn deck. Draven and Jinx are both enjoyable champions. It's a, it's an aggressive deck that can also play a late game be, uh, with the power of Jinx being able to draw multiple cards. Um, and it also just kind of, it's it's kind of a little different. You know, like we're playing all these cards that want us to discard. You know, we have like Sump Dredger in here. Um, we're going to go Zonite Urchin. A lot of things that make us want to discard, get excited. Of course, the Spinning Axis for Draven wants us to discard. And, you know, we have reasons to do that. Vision is, one, is uh, a really good one here. In the deck whenever it's discarded you still basically cast it the same with flame chompers as well as jury rig so it's kind of fun to play and yeah i just want to get another draven deck in so this will be our first one that we'll kick off the stream with uh we're playing some some fun decks today uh gonna retry frostbite midrange whenever we played it before it did not go very good but it's all updated um and then a River Shaper Fiora deck that I built for today um, that should be pretty fun to play. And then we're going to do Mogwai's Spotter, Spider's Von Yip later on. Um, we played against that deck a couple of times yesterday. And basically, I just want more ways to play Teemo decks. I like playing Teemo decks. Teemo's one of my favorite champions. So here we go. Let's get started. Oh, maybe, maybe not. There we go. All right, so Spooky Karma can be pretty difficult. Those ones are definitely going. We'll replace this also. This can be a pretty difficult matchup just because of the amount of life gain that Spooky Karma has access to. So like the game gets to, if it gets like a really late game, like it's, it's gonna be tough. Hey, what's up, Forks? Where's my hide? There, there we go. It's a pretty good start though. Turn one, we got a 2 1 and a 1 1. And if they kill the 2 1, then we draw a card. Um. Okay. Yeah, hope yeah, good luck on your online classes today, Fox. And then yeah, I'll see you on afterwards. It's Draven time. The party, the party has arrived. What's up, Lucas? It's going good. So it's, it's okay to, you know, discard more cards in hand. Uh, let's see, next turn is turn four. Basically, you know, debating whether I want to use the spinning axe here to, to try to start leveling up Draven or not. 
I'll do the nods. More Dravens. Need to start using up cards in hand. Does that mean I want to play Jinx or this other stuff? Probably the other stuff. Just kill this thing so they don't get a good blocker. Or, you know, like a jump blocker. It's not necessarily good. That definitely would have been a good time to use um, a spinning axe. All right. I mean, we have to. We just have to use the two get excited for that. It, Obviously, that's not ideal. I wish I could get excited here, but we can't just let them have a 5-5 lifelinker that also kills my Draven. So we kind of technically did just trade two for two. We trade two get excited for their 5-5 lifelinker and their death mark. Because um, the spinning axes we got for free. You should try blinking sometime. Time for the money makers. All right, want to flip Jinx? Hey Rex. All right, welcome. Just started a little bit ago. First game. And we have a matchup that can that can be tough. It can be a now tough one. A party. But now it's a party. I'll do better this time. Considering we're attacking for twelve and they are at twelve, I am assuming that they are going to do something before Attack damage. This would put them to 15. I guess I can just do this thing. So yeah, this would put them down to four. Um, it's kind of hard to know exactly what to do with this brother's bond because if they have with, I don't want to put it like over on this scrap scuttle lurks that they have withering whale. They're going to stay at 12 after this. Dang. It's a lot of life gain. So let's talk about how this is going to be a tough matchup. But we're in a good spot here with having the Jinx, of course. See ya. We have fought through a lot. No suffering, so we may end it.
Cool. All right. Got a win on the first match of the day. So, Rex, if you didn't see it today, there was... Um, uh, a new news announcement. Um, changing the X change in XP and stuff. It looks like it's um, a good change. Get more XP, better, a lot better in uh, vault rewards. You can keep on going past level 13. You can go infinitely. Karma Ezreal. Hmm. There's nothing really here I dislike. Yeah, it's yeah. So yeah, real good change. Like you don't need to, um, or you only have to go to level two now to get a uh, an expedition token. You only need level two to get the expedition token. And then level five, level five, you just get a random champion. And level 10 plus, you get a champion wow card. Instead of a random champion, you get a wow card. I walk my path alone. Um... I, of course, would like to be playing Jinx here, but we I think we need to have Jinx be able to transform or be able to protect Jinx. Now they're down to two mana, now they're underneath the get excited mana. So now we'd have transfusion that would be able to... Yeah, the reward system was already good, and now it's even better. Yeah. The expeditions don't give out as much rewards, but they only cost 2,000 shards now instead of 3,000 shards. They don't always give a champion now. Um, but yeah, it's still the, the weekly rewards are even better. It's it's going to make like getting these sets so easy. Um... Not blocking. I would like them to play and get excited right now. Oh, let me get use out of this transfusion. Two transfusions. Do I even play it?
science without a little risk. Watch your fish bones. We're doing it. This is one big jinx. Obviously, this is attacking. I kind of feel like it's not even worth attacking with the others because they get to block the chump wump and gain three or gain four life. So I actually feel like now since that thing has life steal, it's not worth attacking with them. gonna have room to play all of our units to be able to empty our hand for jinx like these are five units we only have room for three of them oh, looks like they may be kill my jinx anyway unfortunately I guess this is four units because we would be discarding Oh, no, it's no, it's five. Yeah, it's five. I just got rid of those cards. Darn, that was a good turn for them. This doesn't look so great right now. Reporting in. What you looking for? Anything else? <laughs> yeah, this is not looking so great right now. Probably dead. Time for a true display of skill. I don't miss. Gotcha. Yep, probably dead. Firing. They got past me. We may need to use this, like, these two plus, you know, like, whatever we draw, like, the three of these cards. Oh, great. You know, get excited, discard that. We may need to just use this all to get rid of Ezreal. Um, 
Looks like it doesn't matter. All right, one on one. Got overpowered all those those static shocks. Were very good. I saw how like Flame Chompers doesn't actually ever do anything. It's my least favorite card in the deck, certainly. It's, it's so hard for to get Flame Chompers to actually do anything to be worth a card, and both of our Flame Chompers were not worth anything. Of course I'm ready. I like this hand though. A lot of Boom Crew rookies and Brothers Bond to pump up Boom Crew rookie. I like this hand. And Vision as well. Do not fear the shrouded path. I can do this. Do not deny me. It wasn't me. I'm hoping this works. Okay. That's not so bad. That's not as bad as... Um, twin Disciplines that would give it plus three, plus zero, and kill my rookie. It's Draven time. I wish I had five mana. I wish I could play the boom, this Boom Crew rookie and... Get excited, discard vision. I have the best job. All right, going to get the Draven in play. We can discard either Vision or Flame Chompers to the Spinning Axe. That's all right, not a bad trade. All right, so five mana, huh? Sweet. And then that's still going to have the, you know, another spinning axe discard the vision to pump those up. So they were in all the trouble ever. You know, I wanted to play the burst spell to keep priority and not play my one drop to give them 
the ability to play another blocker. This deck can do some powerful stuff. Get excited kills Ash. It's an important thing to be able to kill. Maybe I should have just kept the jury rig as something to, as you know, like a re you know, card to discard to get excited. But the Draven will make spinning axes also. So that's what I was thinking that we could kind of look for higher impact cards. This isn't bad, you know. We got rookie on two, Draven on three. Nothing too wrong with that. Hey Josh, it's going good. How are you doing? We march Thanks for joining. An unstoppable force. I can do this. I don't know why you fight. How am I supposed to remember, remember if I don't even know? The party has arrived. Party has a, a chill in the air. arrived. Hope they don't have another, you know, brittle steel. Or, yeah, like you know, I'm just hoping they don't have another brittle steel. Awesome. <laughs> you're stuck in flat, just like you're stuck inside right now. Hey, that's not a bad place to be, though. You know, being in flat, not a bad place to be. Like you know, we gotta be stuck somewhere. Nothing wrong with being stuck in plat. First big mission. May just discard one sump treasure to cast the other. So I think I want to keep this spinning axe. And I think I want to keep the whirling death. So I guess I'm just going to discard one to the other. Yeah, rank up Sunday was a huge success yesterday. Great rank up day for sure. Um, let's just attack. I'll protect the villages. All right, so they're gonna do frostbite stuff. Time to go. No. No frostbite stuff. Dang! I wish I would have used spinning axe. Then I would have been able to transform Draven. Is Freljord Ezreal good against Bannermen? The world awaits. Fra uh, I think Bannermen's probably favored against Freljord Ezreal, but I'm not too sure. Just as as playing Bannermen, I feel like I would be okay playing against Freljord Ezreal. I think that that would be, like you know that I I feel like you as a Bannerman player I would I would enjoy that matchup, but it's hard you know. I'd... 
hard to say for sure without uh, really ever playing Freljord Ezreal, especially not without Elnux. The only time I played Freljord Ezreal is with Elnux. A true Freljordian welcome. For glory, face me! Show them the might of Noxus! Huh. Thought they'd have, you know, like another frostbite thing to respond with. And so, yeah, I, I was doing that to draw out a frostbite card and then, um... And then I would get excited afterwards. So I was basically trying to trade the Whirling Death for the, the Frostbite card. They, they just didn't have it. We're going to be target having that get excited go upstairs. Flip the jinx. Okay. Three and one. That's good. That's good. These decks today, I'm, you know, I'm just trying to... Trying to finish a little over 500. That's what. That's like my goal is go like six and four with the decks. Like that'd be, that'd be good. Uh, you know, we're, we're playing 10, 10 games with every deck. So we do here play four decks with ten games each. It takes about seven hours. That's what. So we stream for about seven hours a day here. Okay. I could see keeping all of these. I could see getting rid of the Whirling Death also. I'll, I'll keep them all. I do not want to see turn one Teemo. That is not what I want. So, of course, they have turn one Teemo. Yeah, deck's feeling pretty good. You know, we played that Draven control yesterday that was awesome. And I, I felt like playing some more Draven, really. Like, <laughs> kind of got me in the Draven mood yesterday playing that deck. And so that's that's what we got going on here. We got another Draven deck. They're in a pretty decent spot, though, with the, the turn one Teemo. Um, how do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? Raven down. Boom. 
Podcast. I have the best job. Vision's a good draw because it's something good to discard for get excited or spinning axe. Mystic, Sh Mystic Shot's the card that I need to kill their Teemo. Bummer. I need one more mana. I, I have to get excited the Teemo. I guess I don't have to. But, you know, like I want to play Jinx. I want to play Augmented. You know, I want. I would love to play Get Excited and Jinx, but we're one mana short of that. <laughs> hey, Malvrax. Welcome. Put on me mask. Secure me tail. It's tough to die. Hmm. And even if I play Jinx this turn, next turn I'll be one mana short again of going Experimenter and Get Excited. Because maybe I just don't even play Get Excited, I guess. Rules are made to be broken, like buildings or people. <laughs> RR! Stay still, I'm trying to shoot you. Oh, right. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm in trouble. Oh, I'm in trouble. Damn it. More yeah. That's a lot of puff caps, and I'm going to be um, drawing a lot of cards, too, so... No, I wanted to, I wanted to do this in response to my own thing. I wanted to spinning axe this three three. edge what a card so we don't get to flip jinx Good hand. Good hand. Had a very, very good hand. They curved, you know, Teemo, another one drop, and Draven into um, the Chump Wump. And also had, and before the Chump Wump, they had, um, you know, Get Excited plus Mystic Shot. And then they ended with Get Excited, Mystic Shot again. 
That was just an awesome hand. GG's. Still three and two. I'll take a three and two again. You know, that'll be a six and four. That'll be at 60%. So nothing wrong with three and two. So probably the Iceborne Spiders deck. That's what I'm guessing that we're up against. There's nothing to fear. It's Draven time. Time for the main event. Let's do this. Three mana. Okay, Scarface, you got a new new account. Go get it from Iron Four to Plat. You can do it, Scarface. Come closer. I don't bite. You got this. Okay, thanks. Yeah, free to hang out watching the stream while you play. What's your hurry? We got a lot of tricks up our sleeve this this turn. I don't know exactly how we're gonna do them. We'll kind of see how they block and. Come. You know, go from there. Cool, Josh, that's what you do too? Yeah. Play and watch at the same time. Uh, let's just see what happens here. Or committing for anything else. This is me only striking once with the Draven. I don't think I, I I can't just play two spinning axes on it and then it's striking with the spinning axe twice. I think it has to strike two separate times with the spinning axe. But I could have dealt two damage with that. Ooh. I guess it's kind of weird to empty my hand. Hmm. I guess it's kind of difficult to empty my hand. I have to. I'd have to have spinning axe, discard spinning axe, and then hard cast vision. I pull the 
I'm just gonna wait till next turn. Because I do want I do want to strike with a spinning axe with Draven. Interesting. Oh, I should have discarded the spinning axe and then had the experimenter discard. Experimenter discard this because then it, we could have got the experimenter another plus one plus zero. So do I still draw three or not? Yeah. Cool. Um. Yeah, so no, not no, it really hasn't affected me too much, Josh. No, I I um don't really see a lot of people outside of stream anyway. And so it hasn't really affected me. Not at all. Okay, if it has a period, it usually is a separate statement from Time the effect. That's good to know. Alright, we got leveled up Draven, leveled up Jinx. Now it's a party. And now it's a party. There's nowhere to hide. Um uh, Hmm. So I have room for three more units right now. Could be four units. I feel like they're probably going to kill something. Yes, you. Yep. Um, I don't want to do this. Maybe. Why would they attack with the two one? What's that all about? Well, I didn't do anything. I. card. Um, how do you feel about the deck tier level? Do you mean like if it's if it's accurate or um I think I'm going upstairs with this get excited. Let's do this. 
think I'm just gonna be throwing it upstairs. Oh, what tier do you think this deck is at? Okay. Um, this is probably a second tier deck. I don't think this is a top tier deck. This is probably a second, but it's still it's a pretty decent and and has a lot of good stuff. I think this is probably a second tier deck. Let's uh, do this right now. Cool. Um, a good tier one aggro deck is Bannerman Zed. I think that's the best aggro deck and probably the best deck. Um, that is this deck right here. You want to check it out on the YouTube channel, and there's a, a link to the deck and the code and stuff like that down below. Oh, one more. Yeah, Rex, yep, I'll take 60%. 60%. Um, is a great win percentage, so... We'll take that. And now at four and two, I guess all I have to do is go two and two to get to 60% or above it right now. Um, the last three decks from yesterday, I would consider those tier one. I'm not sure about the Mage Seeker. The uh, Lux deck. That's probably a tier two. This is going to be a tough matchup. Karma Thresh. It's the spooky Karma deck, but better. The people who play Thresh, like me, know what's really up. That was a good fog. The order rewards its faithful. Uh, reporting in. Night falls. <laughs> oh, nice, Scarface. Yeah, I mean this this deck's a this is a pretty popular deck, you know. It's not This isn't uh you know, one that I made myself. This is a pretty popular Draven and Jinx. Okay, you're already in bronze? Nice. So you've gotten out of gotten out of iron already? wasn't that long ago. They said you were trying to get out of iron. It was just a little bit ago. Awesome. <clears throat> that was definitely a really good hand that we had. We had a really good hand. Champion capsule. 
You get 750 shards for an extra champion. Cause I, so I have all the champions. I have every, all copies of all the champions. So this is my first time seeing what happens when you already have all the champions. So champions usually cost 3,000. So you only get 750. So that's tw uh, 25%. I guess that's what you get for all these. Yeah, so you only get 25% of their value in shards. Darn. Still got two epics. So that's good. Two epics and a rare. Okay, you started last night, so you're okay, so you're iron iron one now. When you just started today. I gotcha. Okay. So yeah, keep on leveling up. Um, if for those y'all that didn't see it, um, here we go. There's an update today that they're going to be making it even easier. Like it's going to be even easier to build your collection now, starting on the thirtieth. So not tomorrow, Tuesday, but then the next Tuesday after that, the thirty-first. Um, a lot better vault rewards each week. Uh, let's see. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. We'll keep Draven Jinx. We're, you get your expo, Expedition token at level 2 now instead of level 10. Level 5, you also get a random champion. So if you just get to level 5, you get an Expedition and a random champion. Level 10, instead of a random champion, you get champion wildcard. So before... You know, you got your expedition at level 10. Now you get a, a champion wild card also. And then it doesn't stop at level 13. You know, like right now it's just capped. It will just continue going beyond level 13. And each, each level you get an additional capsule that has three rares and two commons. That, you know, has a chance of upgrading to an epic or champion capsule. Yeah. Yeah, the rewards are great. So, man. This game is awesome. No, my five three. Okay, ready. Well, that's that's how it has been. You could you could buy wild cards. It's not it's not pay to play. It's really not at all. Like you can. You can get you can earn your collection very quickly with this game. You do not need to pay to play. Draven out. Right, they're removing the cap of wild cards, so you can buy you can buy as many wild cards as you want. I don't, I don't understand why you think that's a bad thing. Yeah, you you just buy as many wild cards as you want, so you can you know build whatever deck you want. It's still like the the system for. Um, You know, putting your, you know, like the the reward system for just earning a collection and everything is still super easy. So it's it's not like you have to buy stuff. Um, I'll rummage away these two cards.
yeah, they they are going to be expanding and getting more sets and everything. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's definitely the plan. Like, there's going to be more cards and everything. Oh, but, but yeah, even if you have, yeah, even if you have a hundred percent in every region, as far as like the other rewards, you know, like the weekly rewards are still going to be enough. Anything else? <laughs> Rules are made. So I have to do it that way because I was going to be left with one card. I have to do it that way so I can I can still play my last card and level up the Jinx. Yeah, correct. It's easier to pay for cards now, but it's also easier to get cards from playing. Correct. So you get a lot more in the weekly re uh, rewards. It's like every week you're getting a lot more, but that's also easier to, to buy cards to play as well. Oh, that Sump Dredger is a bad card to draw. That was a really bad card to draw right here. Hey, Blade. Gotcha. Come on, kill my 2 1. I'm doing good. Yeah, doing good, Blade. We had a great rank up Sunday yesterday. Good start to the day today. Anything else? <laughs> well, they had a really good turn. Ugh, man, Draven. It's not bragging if you could back it up. <sighs> this sump dredger was just such an awful draw. It has really wrecked me. It's really hurt. Bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. The party oh wait, this actually works. Right, because we get the spinning axe, we get to discard some treasure. Right, this actually works. Right, right, right. Are made to be broken, like buildings or people. 
You should try blinking sometime. Heart and mind as one. Now it's a party. Hmm. Of course I'm ready. All right, we're probably dead. They're probably just going to be able to cast two spells and kill me. Yeah, we're definitely dead. Is Ezreal the, the new best champion in the game? Could be. Could be. Ezreal could be the best champion in the game. Yeah, I mean, it is difficult to kill Braum whenever they grant him plus three, plus three. It is difficult to kill Braum at that point. What what deck are you playing? Honestly, overall, I, I wouldn't really worry about it too much. I mean, yeah, if if you're playing like hardly ever play against Braum decks, like that's not something you play against very often. So like, if you do play against a Braum deck, then they have to draw their Braum. Then they also have to draw their thing that gives it plus three, plus three. If they have all that and you can't like go wide or anything else, and they win, oh well. Like I, I wouldn't like change the deck up completely for that. But, oh, uh, what deck are you playing right now, Blade? Okay, ready. First big mission. Of course, I'm ready. Just gonna look at here. That's always been there. Time to go. You're playing Lux Karma. Do you have Will of Ionia? That's probably your best option. I'll do better this time. It wasn't me. Yeah, I'd say that's that's your best option is Will of Ionia. Let me show you what I can do. Yeah, you do. Okay, so yeah, so you you have an answer, and so yeah, if you don't draw it when you when you need it, you know, then you lose. Like you know, it happens. But yeah, I mean that's that's the that's probably about all you need. Okay, we're in a little bit of a rough spot. Just you and me, Fishbone. And them. First 
one's free. It's unfortunate. Don't have a good attack anymore. Um, I'm not going to be attacking here. I can do this. No, no Draven. Sorry, Draven. Why can't I <laughs> draw on that vision? The turn before. No one's the wiser. That would have worked out better. I would have drawn that instead of the the Draven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad they're casting this right now, not during my turn. They should be casting that during my turn to have those for blockers. So they should be doing. I go upstairs, every attacker is lethal. But they probably just block across the board. If I kill the 3 2 and attack, they block the 2 3 powers. They take 3, 4, 5, 6. They go down to 2. And they have to make. To make two, you know, to make one chump block. Explosives primed. Mm. Okay, ready. Ready. Moving into sight. Well, I, I didn't do anything. Okay. So I'm at five, they're at six. I got two creatures, they have none. They get the attack token. Both empty handed. That was not a good draw. But assuming this does lethal, there we go. All right, six and three. So at worst, even if we lose our last match, we'll be 60%, which is good. Right now we're at 66%, which is very, very good. And we've moved down 15 slots, but that's just what happens when you're at this kind of rank up here. Oh, spooky karma. Faced this twice, and I've said this is a 
bad match at both times, but we did win both of them. <laughs> yeah, Draven Sweet. It's Draven time. Or, as I like to call him, Dr. Avon. This is not a good hand. Like, these are not good cards to discard. But I think it's worth it with us having the attack token. Turn one. That was a good draw. Boom Crew Rookie is a good draw because obviously I don't want to play some treasure right now. So that's a good draw. So playing Draven does open up. Let's numb the of my meditation. Oh, that's worse. What's for? If I must. I was gonna say that that opened up um, Grasp the Undying. But they're at 18, so if they play Grass to be Undying, they would have only gained two life instead of gaining three. Uh, I'm basically two for one myself with this attack. Uh, you know, they get to kill my 1 4, but my 1 4 does two damage to them, and now Mystic Shot kills this. Tread lightly, strike hard. I basically need Whirling Death to resolve if I try to, you know, like I could try to level up Draven by giving Draven a Spinning Axe and then Whirling Death something else. The problem is if if Whirling Death doesn't resolve because they have removal spell for Draven, or like, yeah, if they have removal spell for Draven, I am in a horrible spot. problem with that. I'm not really expecting them to take seven, so I'm expecting them to play something. So I'll react. Come on. So this is gonna put them down to ten. They gained two lives, so it's actually gained a life from my attack. But we got rid of both their threats. And ate a removal spell. Oh, my first big 
mission. Oh no, Ruination, what am I doing? What am I doing? Just attack. What am I doing? That was dumb. Just forgot about Ruination for a minute. Forgot about Ruination. Remembered it too late. The dark beckons. They cannot hide. No suffering, so we may end it. Uh, thanks, Rex. Drawing Jinx here was my worst card I could draw. Because Jinx is the best card in my deck and I have to discard it because I have to kill this thing. So if I don't kill this, it's a 6-6 six, six next turn. And I can't possibly win. But obviously that ruination turn cost me this. Uh, all right, well, we ended up at the target goal six and four, but you know, it would have been better to approve upon that. Yeah, this is a fun deck to play. Has has some good power. Draven and Jinx are both very good champions. Um, and there's just a bunch of other kind of good stuff around here. And uh, I'm not sure about the Urkins. That was something new that I was trying out. They were hit or miss. Um, yeah, basically basically that. They were hit or miss. I, I may not mind just playing, you know, something else that's, you know, playing Legion Grenadier or Legion Saboteur. Um, you know, there's there's other good options. Even Chempunk Pickpocket could be kind of nice in this deck. If if they if you hit with a Pickpocket, then you get, you know, some more random spells. Um, it's hard for them to, like, kill Pickpocket and kill Draven and all that kind of stuff. Um, this could be another good two-drop to have. Um, the sump dredgers were overall positive, like they were good, but there was a lot of times we didn't have like the extra card to discard. So I think we had too much things to discard here. Maybe, maybe we'd take out like one sump dredger and play a pickpocket and maybe take out like an urchin and play like two pickpockets. Um, you know, something like that. Just give, give you a little bit more stuff. Um... But yeah, cool, uh, a cool discard deck, and you know it's it's nice that you we you can have like an entire archetype built around discarding your own cards. That's something that's um, difficult to difficult to make. You know, it's difficult to uh, design where discarding your cards is a benefit, 
And I think they've done a good job with that. So this is a cool archetype. All right, that's it here for Discard Burn, though. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, please hit that like button over there and feel free to leave a comment. Um, yeah, I would appreciate it if you do both of those. But thank you so much for watching some Discard Burn, and I'll see you for the next video.